What up, guys? Doing the what's next on TJ Dahany, the former 122-pound super bantamweight champion. I'm uh, counting down, uh, doing my kind of doing my top tens in a different way. I'm focusing, uh, giving a video, short videos on each fighter in my top ten in each division. I'm gonna go through all the number tens from 122 to, to uh, heavyweight. I already did Joan O'Carroll, the number 10 at Super Featherweight, that's 130. Now I'm doing um, everybody else. So, like I said, we're gonna do the what's next on TJ Dahany, the former world champion at 122. Um, you know, Dahany's coming off a loss in early March. He was one of the last guys to fight before the coronavirus pandemic hit when he uh, dropped a very big upset loss to. Uh, uh, Inuit uh, Waluda, I think is the guy's name. He lost an eight round unanimous decision to him. Um, big time upset right there. Nobody was expecting that. Um, Dahani Dahani complained about the decision. He felt he was doing more, but he also said eight round fights, you know, um, eight round fights aren't he was basically saying I wasn't fair, but he's the one that agreed to the eight round fight, so he shouldn't be making excuses for that. Um, you know, he went out there, it was in uh, Morocco or whatever, he lost, and now he's, um, you know, he's got put to the back burner. I still think Dahini's a top 10 guy though, so let's run through the top 10 and see what's next for TJ Dahini. We'll start with uh, number one, Mirajan Akhamadayev. Akhamadayev has a mandatory due against uh, Ryosuke Iwasa next. And um, right now, Dahini's just not in play to face a guy like Akhamadayev uh, anytime this year. Number two, Daniel Roman, uh, which will be a rematch. I still think a rematch between the, these two guys is possible. Um, now, Dahini, it would probably be some kind of a final eliminator. Dahini has dropped out of the WBC rankings, so he'd need to have to pay the fees and get back into it somehow in order to get an eliminator so i'm not sure this fight's going to happen next but i do think it could because roman's going to want to um you know get himself in line for a world title and a rematch with dahani would make sense their first fight in 2019 was close it was a very good fight so this is possible number three wbo champion emmanuel navarate i don't see this one excuse me even though navarate is looking for name opponents Dahani coming off a loss, Navarate might not give him an opportunity, but then again he might because he's struggling to find opponents anyways, but does Dahani really want to go against Navarate coming off a loss? And I don't think so. Number four is undefeated WBC champion Ray Vargas. Um, I don't see this one either. I think Vargas uh, is probably going to face Emmanuel Rodriguez and then probably focus on maybe a unification or a mandatory fight. Dahani is not going to be either one of those, so I don't see this one. Number five, is a rematch with IBF interim champion and former IBF champion Ryosuke Iwasa. Dahani beat Iwasa back in 2018 by a controversial but close unanimous decision in Japan. Iwasa right now is is looks like he's going to be facing Akhmadaya for the unified world title as he is the mandatory challenger being the interim champ for the IBF right now. So I don't see this one happening next. A rematch between these two happening next, but if Iwasa were to pull off the upset and beat Akhmadayev, maybe he would face um, uh, Dahani. We just have to wait and see. Number um, Next at number six, former world title challenger Azat Havanasian. Um, I don't think he's going to want to go in against a guy like Havanasian, but Havanasian is a WBA's number one contender. If Dahani were to get himself ranked in the WBA and wanted an eliminator, Havanasian is looking for name opponents. Not nobody's lining up to fight him, so he might just say, "Hey, the guy's a former champ. You know, he's still got a name. I'll fight him." I don't think Dahani wants anything to do with Havanasian, though. Havanasian's a fucking bulldog and comes straight forward, and I think he would bum rush Dahani. And I think Dahani coming off a loss, his confidence isn't too high, so I wouldn't do it if I was him. Uh, next at number seven is the undefeated WBA regular champion Brandon Figueroa. Figueroa, uh, it doesn't look like this fight is possible because Figueroa next is probably fighting Ronnie Rios. Um, that's actually been ordered by the WBA, so most likely that fight's taking place. I don't see Dahani coming off a loss in the picture for Figueroa uh, at this, this 
this fight or any time this year. Number eight, Ronnie Rios. Ronnie Rios is, is the mandatory to Brandon Figueroa for the WBA regular belt. Um, that fight's probably going to happen next. I don't think these two guys are going to lock horns, uh, Dahani or Rios. Now, and then finally at number nine is uh, Inuit Baluda, the guy that he beat. He did not mention, when he did an interview a couple weeks back, Dahani did not mention Baluda uh, it, as a rematch possibility. He didn't mention a rematch with him. Um, so I'm not sure if this fight is possible for Dahani next. I'm not sure if he wants it. I think that's a mistake, but I'm not sure if he wants it. But I do think he could probably get it if he did want it. So that's the top 10 for Dahani and what he could do next. His highest ranking right now is number seven in the WBO. So he doesn't, he's not ranked anywhere else in any other governing body. Dahani needs to get right back into it. Um, I believe he should face Baluda next. If he truly believes that was just the balls out upset, Baluda didn't deserve to beat him, then he needs to go right back at Baluda again um, and beat him. Get a 10 rounder, get a 12 rounder and go beat him. Leave no doubt who the better man is. Erase that loss off your resume and pretty much that will put him back in the, where he was. After that, I, I'm i not sure if he should go straight into an eliminator or a title fight. I think he, he might want to just take his time and maybe get a, you know, kind of a decent um, opponent after that. Uh, again, I would not do um, any, you know, jump right back in. I'd probably face just to, uh, just stay busy, to get a knockout win, and stay, and that's it. But Dahani coming out the loss. We'll see what he does. That's the what's next on former IBF Super Bantamweight Champion at 122, TJ Dahani. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.